Psalm 92 verse 1. Psalm 92 verse 1. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name almost high to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten string and upon the psaltery and upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hand. O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' precious name. Every time, now before I go there, we have taken almost three months, starting from the end of March through the whole of April and all the way throughout the whole of May. To pray for the nations to intercede, to make demands, to confront the demonic plague that came over our generation. And we started seeing divine intervention. Divine intervention that is not attributable to anything. I was asking somebody from the UK the other time, about less than a week ago. I said, how is the situation now? You say suddenly everything is just getting normal. Admissions, no new admissions anymore. And then the curve and so on. And I asked the person, I said, what can you attribute to the situation as it is? Is it the measures? Is it the social distance? He said, no. That the only thing she can say is God. That's the only thing that can be attributed. That this must be God. Because at the time where everyone was indoors, people were still dying en mass. The time in New York City, people were dying like 2,000 per day. What a faithful God we serve. We saw that wave passed. And then things are gradually getting back to normal. Nations began to open up. Then the church began to open up. And here we are today. Want to appreciate him for answer to prayers. Want to worship and honor him. Want to take the rest of the days before we step back into corporate congregational worship in church to take the day as days of praise, days of celebration, days of appreciation. And whenever we praise God and appreciate him, from this passage tonight, minimum of two things we expect. Number one, he said, it is a good thing to give thanks to God. Thanksgiving is doorway to the establishment of good in the life of the believer. It's doorway to the establishment of good. It's a good thing. If you are expecting good things in your life, give thanks. If you want Whatever good thing God is doing in your life to be established, give thanks. It's doorway to the establishment of good in the life of the believer. Secondly, thanksgiving is doorway to the establishment of the faithfulness of God. The thankfulness of man provokes the faithfulness of God. That is, Lord, I thank you for what you have done. Lord, I thank you because you are good. Lord, I thank you for what you have started seeing. As you do that, you establish his faithfulness. You establish his reliability. He will show you that he is dependable. So tonight, we are going to thank God 
for what we have seen so far. And as we do so, we shall see the faithfulness of God. And as we do so, we shall see the goodness of God in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We shall rise up on our feet everywhere we are, in all our locations and every congregation where there is already the release. And let us lift our hands and begin to thank the Lord. Thank him first and foremost for the gift of life. First, for the gift of life. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify you for the gift of life. Open your mouth and begin in thanks to God.